experience been so far out here? It's been really fun. You know, obviously coming from Chicago, it's pretty warm. So we're all enjoying it, just enjoying each other's company and trying to have a good time. What have you seen watching Tennessee and the, the keys to keep doing what you've been doing all season? Yeah, you know, you know, we're going to do what we do, but we know they're you know, really physical. You know, they're fast and they're aggressive. So, you know, they played a lot of great teams. So we're just going to try and go out there and, and execute our plays. You buy into the Big Ten SEC rivalry? I mean, I think us two are probably – battling for, for the top conference. So, you know, we, we want to go out there, not only represent our school, but represent our conference and, and try and get a win. Does it help that you've seen, you know, some pretty solid Big Ten defenses? Oh, yeah. I mean, the SEC, some people say it's a bit different, you know, but uh, do, do you see that at all? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, we face defenses like Michigan, Iowa, so, you know, they're a very good defense as well. So we're not going to be surprised by anything they do, you know. They're, I'm sure they're not going to change up too much from what they've done all year. They're going to try and go out and execute their stuff, and we're going to do the same. So it's going to come down to who's winning the one-on-one -on -one battles. When people look at the Big Ten Conference, they obviously they look at the, the teams that are at the top. Mm -hmm. But for other teams in the conference like yourself, how, how much would it take or how much of a gap is there before yeah. you guys – because I know you guys want to be up with mm -hmm. those guys. How much of a, you know, how, how possible or how quickly could you guys get up there? I mean, we're going game in, game out. We're battling against, you know, every single team. You know, a team like Iowa that, you know, was two or three yards away from winning the, the Big Ten championship. And we were, we were in the game with them to the mid-third quarter. And, you know, obviously we felt like we, we gave one away there. So, you know, you might say they're top tier, we're middle tier, whatever. We're going to go out and play every single game. It doesn't matter who we're playing. So. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of how our mindset works, and we're just going to keep working until we uh, get where, where we want to be. So when you guys get together before the season, the goal is to win. Oh, yeah. And you I mean, no doubt. You know, and obviously every team is that, but, you know, we honestly, we were 10-2 this year. We know we were really close. So yeah. um, we've shown that we, we can compete uh, with the top teams. So, uh, you know, we're just going to keep doing that, you know, year in, year out, trying to get better and improve. I mean, how valuable has this month of practice been for you, being able to kind of take a step back? look at the regular season, do mm -hmm. some self-evaluation, and continue to get better? It's been really valuable. You know, um, early on in practice, before we knew we were playing against Tennessee, uh, we were just working our own stuff. And uh, it was really good to get back to just fundamentals and just working on um, your own game. Um, and, you know, it's been really valuable, these extra practices. We didn't have these last year, so it's been good. When you look back at the season you have, have you exceeded the expectations? Or, what you, you know, you kind of look back and kind of surprise yourself a little bit or not at all? Or? Uh, you know, I, I think there were points where I did really well, and I think there were points uh, where I, that I wish I could have back. But, you know, when I look back at it, I see 10 wins, and that's all I really care about, you know. Of course, you would like to throw for 3,000 yards, sure. but you know, I'll, I'll take however many I have now for 10 wins rather than five wins any, any year. Um, so I'm just happy we're 10-2. Yeah, that's what Coach was saying. The, the stat that counts is the wins and yeah. losses, and you, you grade out pretty good in that one. So. <laughs> what, 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 how do you feel now, as opposed to your, you know when you played Stanford the first game, as, as now going up against a team like, or just playing a, another bowl game, playing mm -hmm. the 13th game, you know? Mm -hmm. How do you think? How do you feel now about yourself as you did that first afternoon? I definitely feel more confident. Um, you know, going into that first game, it was kind of like, what are these games going to be like? You know, especially going to a team like Stanford. Um, but uh, you know, going on after you know 12 games kind of get into a rhythm right. and um, going against a team like Tennessee, who's similar to Stanford in that they're, they've come from a very good conference, uh, rich history, and um, but, you know, I definitely feel more comfortable than I did in the first game. Are you surprised with the success that the team had this season? I mean, you hadn't won 10, game, 10 games in three years or so. I mean, was that kind of a surprising jump for you guys this year? No, I mean, I don't think it was a surprise to us, to the players. You know, I, I think we knew we always had it in us. And, you know, just to come out and, play like we did it was definitely rewarding just since the hard work has all paid off you know in the winter we really we really worked hard as a team and came together and so I'm proud of our guys just you know getting to 10 wins you know obviously we wish we would have had 12 and and um, but you know this is where we are and uh, we're, we're happy about it we're thrilled to be playing in this game against a team like Tennessee. Do you think this team's poised, poised to take that next step and to get in potentially to the playoff next season? Definitely um, you know I, I think we're focused on this game right now but, um, you know, when we turn around next year, of course, that's a goal.